perhaps the most tilt-inducing champion in all of League, apart from Teemo. To counter him, pick someone like Kale, since she can easily deny him if she times her own ultimate right. Lysander works quite in the same way as Kale, but also has the CC to stop him, and Ryze can actually deny his ult as well if he times his own just right. Annie for her burst and CC, Diana for her shield and potential engage, and LeBlanc for her increased mobility make other good counters too. Fizz's passive is BS, and it permanently ghosts him and also makes him take less damage from basic attacks. His Q makes him dash a fixed distance forward through a target and applies the passive from his W to all targets he passes through. His W resets his autos and will deal bonus magic damage and grant him extra range on his next auto. If the target has been marked by Fizz previously and is the mark for at least 2 seconds, then the bonus damage gets tripled. His E is perhaps the most rage-inducing ability in all of League of Legends. It allows Fizz to jump to his trident, becoming untargetable for 0.75 seconds, and will then deal damage when he lands, also slowing enemies. Finally, his ultimate will make him throw a bait at an enemy champion, also slowing him for a large amount. If it does not hit an enemy champion, then it still falls on the map. The radius of hit increases the further the bait travels. After 2 seconds, a large fish will pop up, knocking enemies back, and the baited one up, also dealing magic damage. It might be hard to lane and farm with Fizz, but if he's full of health when he hits level 3, you can easily expect an engage and you'll die from it if you don't dodge some of what he has to hit you with. The most common set is actually to take teleport with him, since he has a pretty hard time laning in the beginning. Ignite is the other choice, and if he takes it, I can almost guarantee you that he'll engage level 3. You, on the other hand, should take teleport as well, or a defensive spell like barrier, since cleanse does not remove the bait. As for power spikes, as I've mentioned before, his level 3 is insane when it comes to damage, and level 6 is also his very valuable engaging tool. A simple sheen will really make you fear his enhanced W hit, and his zhonyas will make the fish feel even more annoying with 3.25 seconds of invulnerability. His early is complicated in the lane, mid game is amazing, and falls off a bit late game. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, his bait is a skill shot which you can easily miss if you try to dodge it, his W will deal triple damage if you have been marked for over 2 seconds, and save your most important abilities for after he's used his E. Ultimately, have fun doing it.